human, I'm a constant work in progress. And one of the challenges that I'm facing currently is forgiveness. More notably, the forgiveness of self. We are imperfect. We let people down, we make mistakes, we don't always do the right thing, we say things the wrong way, and I feel like my struggle oftentimes is not beating myself up in my mind about the way that I'm acting or the way that I am presenting myself because I beat myself up all the time. I'm still learning. Yeah, it's good to be critical of yourself, but sometimes it can take you really, really far down to a really dark place. I just need to learn to accept all of those imperfections that I have and be unapologetically me. Because I feel like once you let go of the this attachment to who you think you are, who you think you should be, you can truly be the person that you actually want to project. I feel like forgiveness from within is the first step. But sometimes we forget that people are imperfect. Just be aware that we're going to do things that are going to disappoint other people, that are going to disappoint ourselves also. But you just need to understand that that's just how we are. Allow yourself to make mistakes because it's inevitable. You will make mistakes. You won't do everything perfectly. You won't have the perfect day every single day. Something could go wrong, but just take whatever happens, whatever goes wrong with a grain of salt because that's all it is, just a little bit of saltiness. <laughs> It's really important to be compassionate and forgiving to others. That goes without saying. Understand where people are coming from, to build a community of cooperation. But it's also very important and vital for you to also be forgiving of yourself. I've done a lot of things in my life that I'm not very proud of. And there are times where I let those things get to me. Like, wow, like I really changed. I'm not the person that I thought I would be at this time in my life. But, I'm not sad that they happened. Well, I'm glad that they happened because that's a part of who I am now. If I didn't experience the things that I did that made me a quote unquote bad person, I would not be the person I am today. I feel like those things make you stronger in the long run. As long as you learn from those mistakes and you don't try to repeat them, Maybe you can go into the same situation, but you can go in with a different mindset, a different perspective. Mistakes build character. You are not a mistake. You are an infinite being in this three-dimensional temporary world. You're allowed to make mistakes and you're also allowed to forgive yourself. You don't have to say I'm sorry, but just don't let that inner voice that's talking to you get to you too much. Don't let there be a secondary party there in your head. I play games and I do make a lot of mistakes. I just started playing games because um, my fiance got me into them and I play Overwatch <laughs> in particular. And it's like the one game that I've played pretty regularly. When I play sometimes, especially when I play competitive um, mode, I get a lot of like, heat for not being good enough and it used to really get to me so I saw playing competitive and I was like oh, I'm just beating myself even more than these people are beating me up about it and by that time they've probably forgotten about me already but I'm still just like replaying this thing in my head like I'm not good like I suck I don't heal in time or I die too much trying to not get stuck in that mindset and just like brush it off is something that uh, my fiance is actually taught me. Don't get too attached to what people say. Don't get too attached to other people's perceptions of you or even your perception of yourself because that can really bring you down and stop you from doing the things you want to do. So going back to this game, I started playing it again recently and I actually stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> well, not really. I still do. I still do care, but not as much as I used to. I don't let those things bother me, even when they're talking smack. It's like, okay, let them expend the energy, let them release it, and then 
I'm just gonna keep doing what I do because I'm doing my best. I know I'm doing my best. Not everybody's perfect. They might look perfect on social media. They might crop out the things that they don't want in their lives. For example, photoshopping images. If you don't have the perfect, perfect body or the perfect contour, whatever it is, then you're up for criticism. But it's not always perfect. There are hardships, there are difficulties. Even though it doesn't happen the way that you envision it, it's still gonna be your life and it's gonna be beautiful no matter what. So don't be so hard on yourself. We can't strive for perfection and expect perfection from ourselves because it's impossible. And we're all gonna make mistakes and as painful as it is to experience, just grow from them. Become the person that you always envisioned and don't knock yourself for not being that person sometimes. So be yourself, allow your own forgiveness of yourself to enable you to be completely and authentically you. Thanks for tuning in guys. And if you like these type of videos or would like to see more, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. If you have anything to add or if you'd like to start a conversation, let's start it in the comments below. I always want to say that. Anyway, thank you and I hope that you're able to share this message with other people. If you're struggling with it, I know I am. Um, let's work on this together. Thank you so much.